nothing but a dim reality here! Semi-final action at Tampa Stadium between Equalizer and Taurus. Taurus, driven by Jack Wilman Jr., former world champion. He wants to move on to the finals here at Tampa. Whoa, here we are, big shot. You ready to face me? I'm a gallop away from the finals, and I'm not a cow talent to nobody, especially you, equal loser. <laughs> well, uh, cow town? Why don't you take your cows and move along, baby? I told you who's boss. Now listen, enough is enough of your banner. Is this the jabber that's taught in the wild, wild west? You are a disgrace, Taurus. When the whistle blows, you'll blow, Equalizer, and I'll rope in another win and trot on into the finals. That's what we learn on the frontier. Oh, so listen up, Mr. Blazing Saddles. I won't dignify you with a response. Why don't you put your motor where your big mouth is and let's begin the competition. Yeah! Both trucks staging. When they're ready, they'll sit and wait for the green light. The first one to the other end of the track moves on to the finals. Equalizer and Taurus. Both are crowd favorites. Both are Chevy powered. But there are some subtle differences between these two trucks. With Equalizer weighing in at 10,200 pounds and pushing out 1,300 horses. And Taurus, just the bare minimum, 10,000 pounds, 1,200 horses. Both are Chevy powered and both are favorites of the U.S. Hot Rod Association fans. Very, very important as the night progresses that the drivers find a sweet spot on the starting line. As the night progresses, things will dry out down there and a lot of loose dirt will cause you to lose traction. Equalizer gets a good bite on the start and he takes it the whole way. Equalizer has made it to the finals in Tampa a full tenth of a second over Taurus. And the starting line is what caused the problem for Jack Wilman. You can see Taurus was lifted up. Part of the tire bit, the other part didn't, and that caused him about a half second. That's all Equalizer needed for a win. Equalizer, a great start. He found a nice spot. In other words, I'm saying, friends, the left lane seems to be the favorite lane. If I were going to be in the final and Equalizer's going to be in there, I'd hope that I'll make it to that left-hand lane. Torrance raised up. The back wheels are spinning. It cost him a lot of time right there, and he could not catch up. Who will face Equalizer in the finals? It may be Predator, Alan Pizzo aboard. Or it could be the guy from Florida in his home state, Wayne Smolzanek in Tropical Thunder. These two trucks are lining up. Tropical Thunder weighing in at 10,300 pounds with 1,500 horses and a Rodex Chevy 572. Predator, 10,000 pounds. Chevy powered, 1,800 horses. And that's an awesome sight just to look at. Predator. Tropical Thunder. I'm forewarning you once and for all. Ooh. Ah, don't threaten me, because it's going to be exhilarating to chase down another wind and leave you high and dry. I'm forecasting bad weather and bad things for you, Thunder, so stay out of my arm's reach, huh? And no one <laughs> will get hurt. <laughs> stay away. Predator Alan Pizzo comes up to the line. Smozanik's already there. The green light and Tropical Thunder takes off. Predator comes from behind and a very close finish with Tropical Thunder taking out Predator by less than a tenth of a second. What a great job of driving for Wayne Smozanik and Tropical Thunder. Predator, if he had had another 100 feet, may have caught him, but it was all Tropical Thunder. He's in the finals against Equalizer. But watch this. Tropical Thunder has problems. After this win over Predator, he stalls on the track. 
Will Tropical Thunder be able to come back for the final? We'll find out when Monster Wars continues. Welcome back to Monster Wars. Tropical Thunder was unable to pull it together and will not be in the finals. I guess those big cats truly do have nine lives because Predator is getting another shot at a victory. He'll face David Morris of Equalizer in the finals. Jolo, take it away. It's come down to two monster trucks. The Cat Hide Predator and the truck that's coming into the stadium right now, Equalizer. David Morris aboard Equalizer, Alan Pizzo in the Predator. How did Equalizer get here? Well, he's had a lot of wins tonight. He has taken out Tropical Thunder, Carolina Crusher, and Taurus in the semifinals. Predator lost to Kodiak in round number one. With a little luck, came back as the fastest loser in round two to defeat Kodiak. And Tropical Thunder defeated him in the semis, but couldn't start. So Predator's in there. Once again, I've clawed my way into the finals. <laughs> Tropical Thunder <laughs> was a wash. Maybe he got all swept up in the excitement, huh? <laughs> and couldn't take the high pressure of the finals. Well, let's see what Equalizer's made of. <laughs> As they come to stage, very, very important to remember that the right-hand lane is where things are drying out on the starting line. Equalizer has taken the left-hand lane, the lane of choice tonight. So it's Equalizer and Predator waiting for the green light. This is our final, folks. Equalizer with a great start. Predator has to come from behind. He can't catch up. Equalizer wins it. Equalizer wins it in Tampa. Your winner, David Morris and the Equalizer. Woo! Yeah! The undisputed champion! And I did it the old-fashioned way. I earned it! And as part of my victory speech, I'd like to thank the following. Tropical Thunder for his blunders. Taurus, you bore us! And Predator, it's time for your catnap. Sweet dreams, losers! Woo! Your champion here in Tampa is David Morris and the Equalizer coming down to shake the hand of Alan Piso of the Predator. Predator had problems from the very start. The smoke coming from behind the truck is white. That signifies coolant. He could be very, very hot and could not generate enough horsepower to make it over the finish line first. Whatever it was, David Morris had what it took. A full truck lane lead from the very start, and that's the way it finished. Equalizer is in the winner's circle in Tampa Stadium. Congratulations, David. Down here tearing things up in Tampa. I guess you had enough of keeping things close. Decide to blow somebody out, huh? Yeah, you know, right here at the finals, what you got to lose, you know, you just give her everything she's got and let her fly. Okay, it's against the Predator. Tell me about the run. You know, basically, like I said, I just give her everything she's got because, you know, if I broke it, I broke it. It doesn't matter now, so i give her everything she had take the win. Well, it looked to me it was probably your best hole shot of the evening, really sitting on the light, weren't you? Right, you know, I was making sure that I had everything down pat this time, and I just really, you know, nailed her to the wall. David Morris and Equalizer ripped up the track and came away with the win, but he still has some catching up to do to take over our leaders. Gravedigger, despite his early departure, still has a commanding hold on first place, followed by Barefoot, Taurus, and Predator. Equalizer did add 42 points with his win today to move past Carolina Crusher. He's just 11 points behind Predator, his victim in the finals. Here's a look at how the rest of the monster trucks line up in the standings. Be sure and join us next week when we head to Kentucky to show them how racing should really be done in Louisville. If you're a Derby fan, get set for some real horsepower on Monster Wars. We'll see you next week.